Right, a very good evening to you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday so far. Welcome to YT54 Entertainment News. We happen every single Thursday. So if it's, if it's your first time, don't worry, we're about to catch you up on what has been happening in the world of entertainment. I'm talking about trending topics, and you don't want to miss this one because it's fire. We have awesome stories for you, and of course, I don't do the show alone. I have my co-hosts, I call them my panelists, rather. I call them my co-hosts. Let's meet them, starting right here. Bang, bang. Bam. I don't know. For some certain reason, I'm so happy today. You I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm looking fly and smelling good. Okay. But so yeah, MCK in the building, <laughs> as always. Boom, boom, shaka, shaka, boom. Right, moving on. Lady in green, what's up? Hi, hi, people. Mm -hmm. Long time no see. I've not been on screen for a while. Mm -hmm. But I'm back yeah. with a bang. My name is HRH, Janet mm -hmm. Michaels, on every social media platform. Right. Nano is make our set. Call me the only general of Fulimbo call. Leo ni lady ya fungwa kila kitu. Kwanza gospel artist ni Corrado ni leo stack michezo. Thank you. All right. We got that. Junel. Yes, Junel mm -hmm. Biatora Giovanni, the Italian queen. Karibu tena for a energy packed show today. Hey, mm -hmm. it's lit is motto. Yes. Right. right. Today is that day. So, guys, if you're watching, make sure you use the hashtag y 254 updates to be able to contribute on various topics we'll be discussing today at y 254 channel that is on Twitter and on Facebook, y 254 TV. I'm at Feeling Jun. You can call me Feeling, yes, and I'm at Feeling Jun across all social media platforms. Last. All right, so right now let's just jump into the first story we have right here. And we have social media is in a frenzy right now after a girl from Nakuru was allegedly infected with a deadly sexually transmitted virus. The long story first block on our Confessions channel on Telegram ran by a blogger, Extendella. According to the 20-year-old girl, she unwillingly had a threesome with a gospel artist, DK and Hope Kid. According to the girl, Hope Kid invited her after she made friends with him on social media, hoping he'd help her career in video modeling. However, DK and Hope Kid have both denied all the allegations. All right, guys. <laughs> I know, but I'll start with the gospel artist we have in the house, MCK, right here. He's our very own superstar, and he is a gospel artist. What's going on? You're a gospel artist. God bless you. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? Right. You're, you're mocking See, God. You're laughing the blessings. You don't laugh at such a thing. You receive it. Yeah. So, um... I don't want to criticize or say anything uh, concerning the artists. They can talk for themselves. Uh, what I can say is uh, I know them personally. They're friends of mine. We've done projects together. And uh, personally, if you know, they're good people. But things happen. If Because I don't know that if that story is true or not. Well, they've both judge. denied it. But it's uh, on social media. And this chick, we can call in a screenshot. So mm, we don't know. Yeah, yeah so mm. I'll talk both sides. Eh? Mm. If whether true or not true. If it's true, people fall. Things happen. It's just unfortunate that it had to happen to them. But the, Second, thing, uh, the thing here is, uh, he okay, if it's true, so that means he knowingly infected her with a, uh, an STD that is incurable. Because her people uh, have no uh, cure. I would also like to point out something. Mm -hmm. This is a lady that willingly went to these guys, then uh, later on, after I don't know a week or some days, ah! went again to this other dude. So meaning is only two if you two them and I find as soon as the pata hata a jewel talk or nani. Ata kama maybe score to a will so jui ha jui explain uh the first time of course they use protection, marapili the decay little as a so in short and I say man like decay though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You know the online judgment is the online judgment is because this guy is a pa pa a popular person and all that. What wanna fall back, Sana? Uh ko kwa de muna get. But who devil wanna fanya uko na kuro just sell but um jiv wanna fanya uko. But because you wanna julikana na kimbi like yo na mrusha mi kona you get. As much as what happened, kama is true happened, akona makosa and dio na jua. But pure dem shit in him straight vile. Mtuaneza do such a thing with two people. Na si atia mere piwa. It's not such a clear person. Unwillingly, I repeat. But on the next hour, the next. Okay, me personally, I feel like the chick had a mistake, Kwanza, mm. kutoka nakuru all the way. Okay, when she realized 
this guys were too she had an option ya kutoka no okay here's what happened for those who don't know the story so yeah. here's what happened yeah. she came from nakuru to meet hope kid so when she meets hope kid hope kid akamweka kwa gari wakaenda kwa dk kwenye beat wakaka sitting room kidogo kidogo yana hapo wakakula mboga wakiwa wote acha so hope kid na them <laughs> wakaenda bedroom dk akawafuata after when they while they were in the action so Yo after hope kid was done That's when uh, DK came in without her cuz she said like without her uh, an acknowledgement cuz she was she said she was crying at the time. Yeah. Yeah. So. But you see mm-hmm. mimi nikikuja kwako filin nipate unakula ugali na nyama hapo sitakata pia mimi kuonja. DK alikuwa tunataka satisfaction na akapata what she he wanted. Thank you. Sorry. I did read it. I did read it. What them first of all they provoke this guy. Unakubaliaje kutoa yo ina uh, they call they are called bras eh mm-hmm. sitting room mbele ya mwanaume you know he's a ni, human ni, being ni kama alikuwa nafikia joto mbona utuende kwa room it's a two umesema it's a two bedroom siangekata uwezi kata alafu na joto tu vitu ni tule tuagamba exactly. if it's your boyfriend if it's your boyfriend because unajui kama wana date mm-hmm. unamwambia ni aje babe i'm not comfortable doing that wacha niende kwa room kama unataka nitabuta nipata kwa room nikiwa hivyo mbona unakubali kutolewa kwa sitting room na wanaume wanaume you don't have s- the simple dignity <laughs> of a woman <laughs> here's the thing okay <laughs> you forgot the part where she said she was offered wine Maybe in the Makunyangi because she's only uh, That's another story. You know. That's so another maybe story. She, she mm. doesn't drink and they offered her alcohol. Kwa hivyo alifanya ukiwa sober. Hapana walikuwa intoxicated. Thank you. Let's for her at least she cuz alisema alipewa wine so. You don't know. Okay, so Junel. Na ongea. Ma celebrities mnachoma. Eh? Yaani mshike tu kuombi watu wangapi mbele? Mkuleo dem muadhara tu adharani alafu nataka kuruka ngori atiamu kwa hiyo story na mimi tunabambika na udem afichi amesema tu kweli mimi ningekuu dem leo ningesema mmoja alinikula eh anakufa kesho kwa hivyo unatembea kumeza mhm mm. ndo wajitokeze wajitokeze najua watatoka <laughs> and mind you these are gospel artists yes. by yeah, the yeah, way so these are gospel artists kitu, kitu mbaya kwa maneno wa maribadi brand but the thing is allegedly it's not been confirmed whether they did it or not I'm not sure. so oh, allegedly wacha nikwambie oh. ile kitu mnasema anga si ukweli nitakuja kwa ukweli mm. okay zinel hey hii ilikuwa story moto ya leo asubuhi man nimeifocus <laughs> nayo hadi saa saba. Uh-huh. it's very sad very unfortunate that celebrities can be involved in such a thing and what asks me more ile sasa inanisumbua ni ude mal toka nakuru hope kid ndio ali meet kwa gari only to find the kind on a spin gari then walienda kwa DK na arrangement initially before hata atoke na kuru was wanaenda kwa Hope Kid kwa nyumba walienda kwa DK maneno ikaanza kufanyika and it's you don't even you haven't even given content for the same and like you saw in her text alisema me was ready for what was coming ju unasikia alisema alienda lu she cleaned up herself yeah. na kakuja kwa Hope Kid yeah. they are happening they are yeah. getting it on yeah. so DK kwanza DK me if i was alone i'd sue you hata Hope Kid kando wewe ndio unaingia ndani wa kwanza sauti tatanishi inasumbuanga so na join that man was very arrogant i'm sorry to say na hata kama kwa, kwa ile audio conversation akipigiwa simu he didn't sound like anatishika he was like whatever oh, yeah. yeah i don't care hope kid alikuwa na try guilt na mkula mm-hmm. anaanza ku kusema oh mimi natumanga watu wanajikatakata mikono kwa pasake <laughs> <laughs> alikuwa na hepa dk yako tu it's very sad lakini girls out there please akim square ile na ile desperation ya ku make it Mas- without following the correct path eh hey, what our mess utakula utupo angalia bibi ya nani zinaanguka ya nani blanket tu ra <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, the point is guys like guys young guys especially yes. 19 excited, to 21 19 to 21 don't get excited ah. with celebrities by the way a good advice to girls by the way stay in school and if you are in college you celebrate they're not going to take you anywhere just chill do your thing eh? by the way just finish school 
Lakini filini mtu akibisha hodi unamwambia nini? Ndio naomba waache kubisha. Waache kubisha. Mtu akomba chakula fanya nini? Waache kubisha. If you gonna make it you'll make it. Cuz that is the lab set ya kwa utatokea alikuwa anataka amweke kwa amsaidie modeling career yake. Yeye ni video vixen, right? First of all, you dem I'm sure Jokoka, right? Love but I'm sure she was raised in a Christian family. Sijakataa but Jokoka na hope kit is a gospel artist. So obviously hata kitokea kwa video yake ita make impact. Sasa so, nataka hizi video za ku talk maybe. Uh. Sasa so, hope kid hata kusaidia. <laughs> Lakini alimsaidia. Services. Yeah, but she's young. No she was. She's very young. She's 20. But the bad thing about this one thing we need to address is that she's suicidal. So alikuwa anataka ame try kujiua mara kadhaa by the way. She's been cutting herself and we don't advocate for and that. You know what DK said in the reply? Yeah. You do whatever you want. Yeah. Apparently even I even be. Alafu akamblock like akacha kujibu akacha kumzi. Dema amekuwa kitikata kata. Yeah. 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 Mzima. Kuisha. yeah, because if she kills herself because of something you did to her, it's yeah. not fair. So at least she has a good family. They've been taking care of her allegedly still. Right. So let's move on to another story where a Gambian born Nollywood actress Princess Okay, Shingle, Shingle, yeah, that's her name. So, a Gambian born now lead actress Princess Shingle is known on social media for her crazy hourglass figure. But recently, after being trolled for being fake, she went on to post how she removed she removed rather five ribs to achieve her hourglass figure, which she calls it the work of art. Right. So that is Princess Princess okay her name is a bit hard Shingle that is prin- Princess Shingle. Shingle. So are we madam as you may pick up you may pick up Junel. Abu madam. Kida go to ko hivi alafu kikuja next week. Eh? Ribs gonje na ka kitu kingine man. I uyo Mrs. G you I think ni kutojipenda. Mm-hmm. She'll die soon. God forbid. What do you, what do you mean she died? No, celebrities actually do that. In the states people do that all they the time. Do. Na amesema mm-hmm. bado anaenda kutolewa zingine anatoa di intestines. Ana nozi baki kidogo kabisa. Ametoa anaenda kutoa small intestines abaki na large peke yake. You know Mungu akiku create alikuwa anajua purpose for each and everything kwa mwili yako. Mm-hmm. So uka ukajifanya mjanja kushinda Mungu utaona venye kutaenda. Mm-hmm. Yule ule demo last time mwenye ameblot anatembea ka soldier. Sasa ini natural hata Mungu anaelewa. Unaona? Huyu she is a condition. Her eyes are not okay. Yes. So she has to fix them. No, yeah. 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 Uko. yeah, yeah. This one. Uyu ni wewe ulitoka na nguo. Mbona umevaa nguo kwa ulitoka hivyo nguo juu kuzaliwa hivyo. Okay. Yeah. So the point is like uh, what's going on with guys? I mean like why do you have isn't this extreme? Like uh, extreme. why are we altering ourselves? Janet. Mimi hata na imagine ange kwa Kenya hizo ribs atunaenda kuitisha nyama pale Ruiru bypass. Inakaa kwa ribs. Well, lakini I don't think she did. Okay, maybe she did the right thing according to her but mm-hmm. it amletea side effects because i i'm imagining how you getting pregnant like this utabe yeah. bad because i'm sure that kuna vile tumbo yezi expand to some extent kwa hiyo shato small intestine the laugh us kunaenda like lakini kitu fili naweza sema hivi yeah. nimekuja ku notice mm-hmm. them once akshaji wamechapa mm-hmm. atafanya kila kitu arudi form mm-hmm. of which wana umeota tunakimbilia ngazi zile vitu Fresh. Yeah yeah so sana sema according to her I say like she regrets how she looks right now not cuz it's bad like mm-hmm. she loves her body and everything but attention and apart from actually is excess mm. she actually said being hot and pretty is hard like like it's very hard to be pretty mm. kama shosh yake alichapa <laughs> eh unataka unataka kuniambia atachapa ana ribs so azirudi tena so imagine tu ni mzae na nakaa hivyo but they still do these things you know na but tunapata bado there is due divorces nini nini so you should just stay the way you are mck if someone likes you atakupenda mm-hmm. wenye uko mck me me i believe eh? mm-hmm. uh me what come on kiskevu to guys first of all ni mtu akona self esteem issues yeah 
Attention yama nigga ira kusaidia and he doesn't pay your bills. Yeah. Unless unless it actually pays your bills if you look like that and the attention is too much alafu si akipata ka au si anataka anataka si maybe to say me to say me kuna celeb flani ya menoki no celeb ako na pesa na anataka ngao sio na ka hivyo. So si finally ata get attention ya FK. Watakuwa kadha wenye wanakata. Ni what I'd say eh. when God gave you all those ribs. Au kupatia 20 au kupatia tano alikuwa it will never go back and then they can deteriorate it afika place unarudisha tu life span yako kuna we, you do, we never know everything zenye vitu zimekuwa ndani yetu zina do so the moment you remove one utadhani tu uko sawa but it's still altering your body pole pole so ladies relax tu venye god alikuumba alikuambia mse usichange wataka kwenda kwa eh usienda kwa mtu mwingine nakumbwa mtu na mtu mwingine utashinda shinda tu hapa nje unatoa unatoa hii unatoa hii ah na utemwe alafu ngoja sasa you know this is trending this is what is trending right now siki kwa time nyingine unajua trends hizo udifa unafikiranga wase skinny ndo wako fashionable ifike mali wase thick hata hata kwa mali Eh sikia mali. Wanasema watu wa tumbo ndo wanaweza. Lakini sikudanganya watu wengi wanakimbilia watu skinny sana. Size hii generation iko 2019. Hataki zima yoyo yoyo size ya zisaidi. Sasa na mbona kama zisaidi watu wanaenda kujiwekea lazima. Kuna mtu anataka kwa bafu ndani ni portals. Mbona watu? Mbona watu wanaongeza? Mbona wanadunga shindano kwa na hips? Hiyo sina mtu naharibu. Wanaeka hips. Unadhani ni flat kazi za portals. <laughs> Unaeka sponge na gwara. <laughs> hey. To. <laughs> all right. Guys, all right. So, we so, move on to another story where right now this is a bit serious actually. So, Empire Fox TV drama series actor Juicy Smollett was allegedly attacked and beaten up by two unknown men who called him out for being gay and black. Chicago police detectives continue to investigate the hate crime that took place in the downtown area Tuesday morning around 2 a.m. All right, so we all know uh, GC. We call him uh, uh, Jamal from yeah. Empire. So uh, role yake kwa Empire na kuanga he's yeah. gay, right? Yeah. And you've seen the issues he had with the dad even growing up. According to the program, alikuwa like he's passed through a lot growing up. Ndo afike mahali amefika kwa show. But in real life he's actually also gay. gay. So juicy, but according to statement al Piana, the people who assaulted him were actually white because walikuwa na mtu kana not just for being gay but also for being black because that hakuna mtu black hezi kupiga kuambia ti you're black na yeye ni black uh, so it seems like maybe there were white people who assaulted him do you think that's right like just because you're different well let's say uh, his sexuality is different well he's gay Yeah, in Tanzania MC Kelly, you were to know your gospel so Tanzania we ndo. I think if you I think it is always like Kenya. Kenya wanaka ku do to guys. But uh it's not good. It's not good. No, I'm just I'm just like ingekuwa Kenya mimi singeshtuka because Kenyans can do anything, eh? But uko if you want expect what were more civilized over there, you know. Yeah, uh, it's not a good thing. And uh I really I really okay, kinuelewa ni blacks bad of being discriminated over there, but for being gay, I think most whites actually are a number of most whites in the gay. You know, so I think there's a deeper there's a deeper thing to your fight. It's not just like the guy is just gay and everything. I think there's just a deeper something to whatever happened mbaka kafika place sana people. No, speak it out MCK. Help other youths outside there. <laughs> They are dying. See, you guys go bigger just for being you. I'm going to go and I think una provocation. Maybe you know kama star. Kama star kama star una feel ah majama wananiambia nini uonge fba. So hata kuchapa ukikombia wewe ni black na wewe ni gay. Nini nini you know you will take maybe you are your but maybe you are arrogant. Especially given that uh, allegedly Trump is racist and it's his reign. So maybe some white folks on another they can get away with it. Yeah. President that appear come on the lady. So I said I'm not a lady. They go they go with it. You know, racist. Yes. Janet. Yeah, I think racism imekuwa too much over there cuz there's also another clip I saw uh in jail. Wamefunga like four black people then there's a white guy who is like, stabbing them. So I go na zunguka hivi around wakitrai kuhepa juu akikushika anakustab so i feel like 
racism is too much over there. Yeah. Mbakata you can't tamani to go over there right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Right. Mimi yes. kwangu mimi ni kama script tena nalichanganisha huko jana. Mm -hmm. Cause ni kama script me kwa tu kiran we kwa gay 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 so yeah ni kama ina kwa approach muto no 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 apana like he's muto kwa straight forward no 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 he actually has uh, well I know no let's put it up man say he's dating he has a boyfriend yes he no has problem like ni kama aliona u boy ni kama vile nzenda kwa ba muto mungi na fulimbo kwa onei ya fulimbo kwa inyo usindi onataka boss. Da pita na kaka garimpia. Sasa ni kama maybe alikose ya mtu wrong. Ati wote fanya nini? Da pita na kaka garimpia. Mtu akifanya nini? Okay, ile design na kunywa hapo mbe ananisumbua. Unapiga? Unamwata. Yes. Why should you attack someone because Anakuja na njia gani? I should be speaking to ladies, not a man. You just say politely. These are this no what politely. You say politely you're not of that. Sasa mwanaume akuja kufanya bojo bojo ngo. Utamfanya nini? Pita na yeye. Hafulu. Alright, June. Anyway, hey, this guy bana, I got enough problems already, but <clears throat> he didn't deserve to get your beating Ali Ali Chapo, especially for the fact that he's black. Yeah. It's not fair. Well, gays in Tunisia debate you, as you said, Trump and the Orezo na her stomach story of homosexuality. So it's quite unfortunate. Another question I can ask: Algo afanya niya kitembe. These people have money. He should so, be driving well, around. Here's the thing, no? The thing is, yeah. it was two a.m. It was two a.m. So yana juwa unajua mchana wazi tembe. There's a lot of paparazzi everywhere. So no na the best time maybe say lo aso melala. We're talking stroll kidogo. Two a.m. Ata kama ni U.S. kama ni wapi? Akona mchezo. Akona ata e ata e alifunzo asasa. Kama ni U.S. ama kama ni Kenya, Nairobi. Either way, the places are the same. Kuna masa wazi tembe tembe. Even the fact that you're a star. Uki tembe una tembe na mlis. Kwa wili ama watuna Wune nda hindi Wune pika solo so Seme amela nleso Ine zakuwa So let's move on to our next story Where Kenyan rapper STL Stella Mwangi okay, Kenyan rapper STL A.K.A. Stella Mwangi has just landed a gig In the In, the, in a rather Norwegian show camp Culinaries. The cooking show brings together various Norwegian public figures and public figures. Rap Queen STL, aka Stella Mwangi, is joined on the show by public persona like Wanda, Mashandi, among others. All right, so there we have it, guys. STL. STL is also putting us on the map. So say live to zingine zinafanyika unasahau. Unaona sasa she put us on the map kukuwa yeye ni ni black and she's making it happen in another country. She's a big star over there. So say see hivyo tu say pair amepewa TV show, a cooking TV show in another country. Ya maselem maselem ndo upewa sasa she's like among them nae ni Kenya. So are we but excited? Push. I'm make it. Who yeah. dem push? Kama kuna yeah. dem ni mwana menda nje na na push. Yeah. Ah, who dem push sana she deserves it. Uh, personally may like her. She's a good artist. Atole tu wasani wake, mafanzo wake mziki Because ame tu amekawia sana But it's a nice thing on her side I think she's trying something new Because making it outside there musically It's not, not exactly, easy. exactly It's not easy it's not But easy. the fact that Sayako on TV like it's, on, it's, it's like normal rotation, you know yeah. Atakuwa more familiarized to people over there So putting out her product and her music And whatever she's doing It's, it's gonna be easy yeah. You know, like personally come even in the every time It's easy for people to familiarize with me They trust it yeah. It's easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's good on her side. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to her. All right. So, Janet. Yes, yes. I, I also admire her zeal. Mm -hmm. She's she's black. She's making us proud. I'm so happy about it, by the way. Oh, yeah. awesome. How for you? Kwani alitafuta station zote akanyimwa place ya kupika ama nini? Na uliza tu. Unajua kupika huko zika hiyo huko. Kwani anapika huko? Nini nini si nikitungu na nyanya unasonga mbele nini nini unaongezewa? Hapana, huko hata chakula zao si za kazi eti wewe. Hebu rudi kwenye kwanza lima kwako ndo toroke kwenda kulima kwingine. 
Wakati <laughs> Kweli, okay, I'm proud of her. She's really come a long way and like MCK said, she pushes. She's a hard worker, she doesn't quit. Yes, na alianza huko chini kumka alianza na kina Kantai. Alianza na kina Kantai wakimba juu wimbo gani hizo? Kantai hata sijui kwenye alienda. Ona penye STL ako. Enye God has been faithful so naweza sema she keeps on doing it and uh, making us proud. Yeah. All right. Lakini yeah. akienda huko ataje Kenya. Si atikwenda Of course. She's wow. very proud. I was going to imagine ah, her Stella Mwangi. Lakini Lupita kwa nini aliruka? Unajua nani anga huko majio anasema oh I wasn't born I'm not Kenyan. I was born in Mexico. Yeah. No, yeah. she said na baba yako ni MP. Ngoja, ngoja. Baba yako ni MP. Alisema she was born in Mexico but she's Kenyan. Unajua alizaliwa Mexico tu. Iko time alikuwa ameruka. Yaani lazima tu uongeze nini bwana. Eh. Ukisema I'm Kenyan, shida ni ataki kujua hata kama alizaliwa kwa mtaro. That works for her because when you you you're, you're branding yourself. Ukisema wewe ni Mkenya, wewe umempata wa Kenya, uh, right? Never. Lakini ukishasema ukiingiza u Mexico, umebebadi mafans wa Mexico. Oh, you are going your left ile mind mbaya kutoka Mexico. Hapana nini? Unaenda ni broke. Ushangae <laughs> 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 The plight of Lydia Acheng who is locked up at Langata Women's Prison was brought to light in an interview recently conducted by a popular local TV station prompting the intervention of the DPP. According to Lydia, she has been in jail for 10 years for mistakes she never committed and without substantial evidence. Acheng broke down narrating her story adding that she had forgiven her accuser but she in so she's in so much pain given that all her youth was wasted away in prison all right we've all seen this story right uh, this is actually uh, 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 I, i've seen uh, it, i've seen it Wednesday. since monday mm -hmm. in uh, news it's actually sad and this speaks a lot about our judiciary right and uh, i'm judiciary i think time last week there's serious reforms finance our so resources and everything but if there's uh not enough uh, enough evidence but you don't see that to can be like a pile in back of evidence but like we should go before because what she what what they said was that uh cases come on rape and uh murder mm. and uh you know defiling a minor a way to achieve what you want like it, it takes time so see always to say mati oh mother because she said the accuser actually came after one year because actually that's not true and she would love to withdraw the case but they refused they said like uh, it doesn't work like that Exactly. To the back to the same same point, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, judiciary needs a lot of reforms. Mm -hmm. eh? It needs it needs to kuna kitu tunafaa kufanya wa structuring tu kwa judiciary, you know? Kila mtu aanze upya. Eh? Ah, mimi ndio nasema hivyo. Hiyo ni hiyo ni opinion ya huyu. Eh bro, nataka kesho ni gongori niende pale hivyo bro. Wala kama huyu anakatuvutu eh. So, um, in short, eh? Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's it's a, it's a big cause. Ka jana nilikuwa nilikuwa nasikia a lot of people like a very big percentage like 20% but see wengi sana wako jela na issues zao si ati ni vitu zilipita through legit unaona so una come to for more than 5 years bado evidence haiko like by the time ilikuwa 5 years wangekuwa like okay come on let's just let the guys just go right junel yes i saw the clip it's very sad and the judiciary system is rotten to the core i have no apologies to make very sad kwa sababu uni mse then also for the dpp to come out and say that this lady is lying i don't think a person of such a caliber is allowed to say such a thing reason being this girl ame baksha two months yeah. at okay you don't have anything to lose at this point so i also think the judiciary should look into the same really kama ni compensate you apatiwe do 
kwanza ile kitu nilikuwa natouch na kusema usichana yangu yote imeishia jela actually right? so, that's so, the so, time so, that so. i actually touched most people including me yes yeah. it's very sad again mm. kama mliona story ya leo ule mcha inalikulo na hipo last year december ah, well, well, well. the family has been compensated 23.9 million mm. na watu huku ushinda kulo na manyoka na manini na familia zijai kompensitiwa yes cuz you never know ange kuwa nani in life yes true you know, yeah that's true cuz she had her own business in uh, Asia like Philip Bisai yeah. the MCK Janet Junel Afulu kitu tunasema hivi ni moja watoto wao wako zabe nyenye sikudanganye mm-hmm. wengi sana hawajoni kujitetea kotidi mm-hmm. so unakuta mtu anasukuma ile ile ngori hako anajua ni mimi ndio nenda nayo ngori So enyewe kusema kweli enyewe judiciary tukaene chini mfuatilizi makesi ziko huko ndani. Kuna watu wengi wako ndani na wajui ngori wameenda nayo. Tosha. All right, so let's move on to our last story because of time we're actually running out of time. This is, this is interesting. It has to do with the Mishi Dora. We all know Mishi Dora, right? Now, a controversial Kenyan reality star Mishi Dora deb- debuted her acting career in an upcoming Nollywood n- movie named Naked Covenant. The Nairobi Diary star shared the photos of on her Instagram uh, account, rather, posing with her producers and other actors as her followers wished her well. So, we know Mishi Dora from Nairobi di- Diary scandal, 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 kupiga watu. But finally the fame has landed her a role in a Nigerian movie. Are we excited for her? Afulu. Nilijua tu utasema hivyo. Junel, pass over the mic. Afulu au tumemba, au tumemba. Ah, hizi ni shida hizi. Nini na kwa nini Kenya wenzako kimake? Hiyo ni ufala. Kwa nini mimi kwa nini mimi wenye tusidanganya ni feeling? Aha. Wa, mbona mnatoroka nchi yenu mnaenda kutembea na celebrities huko? Nini mnajaribu kutoneza? Kenya hakuna mtu amempea job ya kuwa. Na ameitwa ameitwa Nigeria. Asiende. Oh, kwa hivyo Kenya hakuna opportunity. Hapana hakuna mtu amempea hiyo chance ya kuwa act but Apana. Nigeria wamemuita. Mimi najua kuna mabroka hapa katikati. Kuna watu wamedeal yeah. naye kupata hiyo space. Eh. Yeah. 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 So you are not happy. I'm not happy. Why? Atafuta arudi Kenya afanye kazi huko ndani. Tafadhali. <laughs> Alipe tax. At uh, eh. Yeah. <laughs> Ushuru naanguka. Tulipe tulipe deni ya China. <laughs> Yeah, Tora. <laughs> well, finally melipa. <laughs> Nasikia wivu kwa zako na anaitwaje? Ramsin. Anisira, anaitwaje? No. Yes, either. Mm-hmm. Well, to to each his own. <laughs> Lady Luck I'm a smile on her, mm-hmm. but you other girls may you work hard, achieve for the best. Um, respect the process. Be patient. Mm-hmm. Maybe yake tuseme imemkujia. Mm-hmm. You never know. Yeah. But uh, well but so this is the big picture na William Ruto mbona mko ni post wewe ni huyu ndo mnakaeka darani wewe huyu ni anjitetea respect in that name who is it to say William Ruto unasema muheshimiwa honorable eh vice my honorable doctorate eh William Ruto tulipiga na picha mbona mimi siweki huyu huku wewe bado si famous enough ukifika hiyo level tutakuweka haya janet hai suru Okay me uh, okay personally na feel kama ame pass through the right channels then I wish her well no, yeah. no biggie yeah yeah but uh-huh. so like I threw the, what are the right channels hey, my friends right steps what are the right channels <laughs> <laughs> as in not yeah? not about spoon you don't say about yeah? spoon you mm-hmm. as in one at a thailand na producer the way she got the the job if it yeah. is Legally, if it's legit, yeah. legit. oh legit. can you legally say atashikua nigeria ama legit uh-huh. yeah we say okay so <laughs> <laughs> mck you know what you guys don't know uh-huh. right channel you know, true, 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 true. Kuwa, she was supposed to be with mike is ronya inaweza kuwa but she was posting with mike is ronya inaweza kuwa is ronya when he was in kenya alikuwa na nairobi dairy za kwa na drama akwa na huyu drama huyu mtu exactly you know and sometimes hakuna Mboga. I never okay, I never watched that. Okay. But that one, I, I, I never watched the Nairobi whatever, mm-hmm. but I used to hear about her. Mm-hmm. Kumaanisha kuna kitu alikuwa anafanya ni unique. Yeah. Ukiona uh-huh. wasio anakujua na kana jina peke there's something you're doing. People don't even know what you do but they Yes, yeah, so unajua do you're there. It means there's something you're doing right. So I'm saying that to support. Right. Simple to akwambia eh hey, niaje I've been seeing you can we do something? Mm-hmm. Simple naona kulipia flight and everything you go do. 
Let's I mean, just be happy she's representing Kenya check. over there because mm-hmm. actually their their film industry is actually really big. Yeah. Yeah. So she's actually representing us over there. So we should be happy. We are happy. We are happy. We are excited. I'm not happy at all. <laughs> All right, so Janelle, as we wrap up, we are almost done. So 30 seconds uh, to get yeah. Ivy. We wrap up. We're out of time, unfortunately. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, it's been real. Mm-hmm. Guys, um, I wish you a nice weekend because mm-hmm. the, week, uh, the week is coming to an end. And as for Lydia Cheng, I wish you all the best. May God intervene for you. And yeah. the government, please, judiciary, honestly. Mm-hmm. Us as poor Kenyans, judiciary is people who can't fight but remember she's still alleging it's not been proved that yeah. whatever she's saying is true so yeah. could be true maybe also in it's the not end true. that it's yeah. true yeah. yeah otherwise um follow me on social media platforms junil biatora giovanni let's do this next week awesome half of you 30 seconds tafadali call me the only general of fulu imboko hey Keep the same my EV, social media platform of Fuluimboko, Instagram of Fuluimboko, Kila Mali of Fuluimboko. Lakini kwanzia next week, Jamani. Enye itabia uishimuwa kwa muka tuwa subuna kaa chini kusema, tutueni na tunatoa. Please to watch. Sasa mkirusi wangara, munakuja Sokoni town. My friend, <laughs> ni nyanyo tanuwa kwa mlango ya town, ama ni town enye utaingia katikatu nwe nyanya. Na wasi wastadi, my Na nisikudanganye, kila mtu utaingia town nye biyashara. Hatu mesikia watu wa vitimbu wakujo wafanya vitimbi zao hapo. My friend. <laughs> Now, considering umesa wa kusema hii, watu, watu wa mkoko siku zeto kinuwa nyanya unakalia. <laughs> unakalia. Ukilipuko, ulipuke na. <laughs> Ulipuke na hizo nyanya zako. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, it's been great being with you guys. I'm so happy to meet you this year. Mm-hmm. And uh, about uh, the... The Lydia Cheng's case, me, I'm just, I just wish her well. That story is very sad. Yeah. Yeah. Very sad. So, uh, uh, oh, oh. I am HRH Janet Michaels on every social media platform. Awesome. For those joining us today. As a gospel uh, artist, what would you love to tell yes, Kenya? Yes, uh, that's what I want to say. Ah, ah. Relax. How are you in Your time is up. No, 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 no. Yeah, we are winding up. Okay. It's a sad story what has been trending since uh, yesterday about one. Um, I think it's 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 it's, a, it's I think we are it's a way of God telling us maybe in the gospel industry like we need prayers. We There's need something that has to be done, mm-hmm. and uh, it has happened so much. God is angry. Back level of guys was gonna happen, so let's reform. Yeah. And uh, the last thing, young girls, mm-hmm. young people, whether dudes or Chiles or anything, please yeah. stick in school. Mm-hmm. Know your vision, work towards it. Is if you sing in a man up and bell, ah, so I'm not admire. Personally, Miss Kufika Pacotelli, it takes a lot of time, and I'm still heading somewhere. Yeah. So just work hard, know what you want to do, and focus there. Is this to resign as a Kunda and Apa? I'm not excited because somebody is don't do that. Be straight. Bless. Thank you, thank you, everybody, and thank you guys at home for watching uh, the show. We bang. appreciate you. Thank you so much for staying with us. Do find us for all your contributions on Y254 channel. The hashtag keep the conversation going. Hashtag Y254 updates. I'm at Philin Jin, and of course you can find us at Y254 channel. That's on Twitter. Find me at Philin Jin across all social media platforms. Keep it Y254. We haven't finished coming up with Karen Gista and Mike Gitahi. And oh, before you go, a big shout out to Esther, Steve, and Sharon Kiambi. A big shout out to you guys. You're always locked. I see you again next week if you have any stories make sure you send us that right channel and we'll be sure and we'll be glad to share them all right we'll see you then bye